Well, good morning, folks. If you've watched our YouTube channel, you'll recognize where I'm at. I'm here in the gentleman's study, and today I wanted to show you one of my five-minute crafts. This is a 30-odd-6 Springfield cartridge, and I have turned it into a punch cutter for today's cigar. So all I did is take this cartridge and insert it into a battery-operated drill, spin it real fast, a little piece of sandpaper until the neck of the cartridge was very, very sharp. But since this has not been tested yet, I thought I would show you. At the same time, I don't want to wreck, you know, a 30 or $40 cigar. So I picked up this relatively inexpensive Junction Nicaraguan Gordo cigar. And I'm just gonna take it out of the cellophane here and you'll be able to see how well the bullet punch works. Now, I intend, if this works well, to keep this in my travel humidor, right? Because I don't have a lot of room in there and I can put a couple of sticks in there and just have a quick punch cigar. This works well, you know, a punch works well for something, you know, of this size, like a Gordo, uh, a Toro, a Robusto, a Churchill. So you get into the smaller ring gauges, um, like a Lonsdale or a Lancero, something like that, you know, right around that 44 to 40 ring gauge quite often if you're using a punch cutter because the you know no pun intended but the caliber of the punch is so close to the ring gauge of the cigar as you're you know rotating and spinning it in there quite often what can happen is you can crack the wrapper so we're just going to try on a larger ring gauge cigar boom just like that, there you go. Check the draw. Amazing, absolutely amazing. That's today's five minute craft. 